Detective Gumshoe leaves evidence hanging out a lot, too. I bet he doesn't tuck in his shirt under the trench coat, either. <laughs> if you're gonna talk- If you're gonna talk behind someone's back, don't do that oh. in front of them, pal. <laughs> oh, oh, I love Gumshoe. And we're back. We're back with some more Ace Attorney. Ace Attorney. Right. Ace Attorney. Ace made a turn at your mom's house and into her pussy. <laughs> Good. Thank you. <laughs> so, Detective Gumshoe, you're the boss for the day. That's right. It's an honor. After all, the murder took place right here in the police department. But if you're boss, why are you all alone? Where are your underlings? They're using yesterday's findings to prepare for tomorrow's trial. In other words, you got kicked out of the investigation. Again. I'm adamant, though. I'm going to take control and put this case to rest. In my own evidence locker, pal. You have a locker in here too, Detective Gumshoe? <laughs> of course! I am a detective after all. They gave me a locker that only I can open up, pal. Oh, can open. I'll always believe in Mr. Edgeworth, no matter what happens. Well, Mr. Edgeworth is the with the inquiry committee right now, right? They're trying to figure out who's responsible for the mess up in court today. I see. I guess this is what you call fate. Mr. Edgeworth just can't get away from that case. That case? Yeah, that case. The SL9 incident, of course. That was the beginning of the end for Mr. Edgeworth. Maybe we can get him to tell us more about the case. This place is more high-tech than you might think. Every locker is fixed so that only one detective can open it. Using their ID card. Well, that's the thing, pal. ID cards can be lost. Why, I'm on my third card since entering the force already. Damn, he just like me for real. Like a lot, you irresponsible fuckhead. Yeah, but even I can't lose my own right hand. Right hand? You mean your fingerprint? Exactly, pal. The lock for each locker is coated with the fingerprint. So the only locker we can open is our own. Funny, they look like normal lockers. These are the latest model. There's a trick to the handles, see? The handles? On the outside of the handles is a sensor. And if the wrong person touches it... Zap, you get a shock. If that's what happened, my hand would be black and smoking every day. In any case, the locks aren't that obvious. There are even some people on the force that don't know about the fingerprint locks. That sounds a little illegal to me, but okay. Evidence locker. Only the assigned detective's prints can unlock it. Indicator lamp lights up when it's open. Okay. Then we gotta present Goddamn's ID. No, we gotta present his note. Sorry, folks. Mm -hmm. Detective Goddamn's note in the switchboard. I bet Edgeworth was was the most surprised of anyone because of the SL9 connection. That was Mr. Edgeworth's first big case, you know, two years ago. That was the first time the world knew Edgeworth as a man to be feared. But why would evidence from that case turn up now? I guess it's not over, pal. Maybe there are some loose ends left on that case. Uh... So, yes. that was a bloody, case, bloody violent case. Violent? So it was a murder. A serial killing. A serial killing? Maybe I don't want to get involved in this after all. But the killer made a mistake, and Mr. Edgeworth built his case around that to nab him. This was two years ago? That put Mr. Edgeworth right in the spotlight, and started the rumor mill. Rumors? About forged evidence? 
It was supposed to be all cleaned up with the transferal the other day. It was the last job he ever did. Detective Goddamn, that is. Huh? What do you mean? Detective Goddamn was the detective in charge of the SL9 incident, see? What? So, so, the switchblade knife? The victim took the knife out of the evidence locker himself? Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Goddamn. Gotta present more shit to this fucking guy? Uh. This dickhead. Demanding too much. Fuck you, mother. Could you take a look at this? This is the ID card record of the people who came in here on the day of the stabbing. I heard the rumors. So it was goddamn who came in here at the time of the murder. Whoa! What? What is it? That second number. It's not your ID number, is it, Detective Gumshoe? Mr. Edgeworth. What? The second number on this list belongs to Mr. Edgeworth. Bruh, what? What? ID card record ID. Uh, yeah, yeah. Why would Edgeworth have come to the evidence room? Yeah, and why is this the first time we're hearing him? Alright, uh... For real? Sam and the white item hanging out of the locker. This thing? Oh, sorry, Bill, that's my cum rag. <laughs> <laughs> The visceral reaction when you said when I said that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was fucking laughing. Man. Oh, it sounded like you were I was like, like eh. <laughs> There's something sticking out of here. It looks like a shirt. I guess it must be evidence for some case. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe put this here. There you go, pal, making me out to be some kind of slob. I'm not responsible for the evidence here. That said, I bet that evidence locker was opened recently. No. Because I'm the one who opened it. <laughs> when you leave things hanging out like that, the evidence gets dirty or ripped. That guard checks on that ki Oh, the guard checks on that kind of stuff and notifies the detective responsible. How many times have I had him breathing down my neck about some silly evidence? Detective Gumshoe leaves evidence hanging out a lot, too. I bet he doesn't tuck in his shirt under the trench coat, either. <laughs> if you're gonna talk- if you're gonna talk behind someone's back, don't do that oh. in front of him, pal. Oh, Ouch. I love Gumshoe. Uh, examine the handprint on the right side of the room. Handprint. <gasps> Handprint. <laughs> What's this? Handprint. Blood. Handprint. Ketchup. It's a little worn, but there's definitely a handprint here. It looks like someone tried to wipe it off. Mr. Wright. What if there are other blood stains left in the room? Blood stains. The blood of blood, my enemies. Blood stains. We should use her yes. testing fluid to check it out. Sam in the open locker. Look, this one's open. The red indicator light above the door is lit. No, this party lit. Sorry. No. That locker is coated with Detective Goddamn's fingerprint. Detective Goddamn's locker. Are you sure it's okay to leave it open like that? Well, it'd be hard to get it open again if we closed it. It's true. Yeah, it's true. I mean, we had to cut his hand off to even open it. Look. What look. the hell? <laughs> it's like, I don't want to touch a decapitated no hand, way, Gumshoe. Yeah. <laughs> it's empty. They must have taken oh the contents of No way. Yeah. Glove. Oh my god. Someone left a glove here, but only one. Michael Jackson. <laughs> He's just in the room. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, maybe? There you go, pal, making me out to be some kind of absent-minded detective. That's evidence from the case, you know? You mean SL9. It does have a tag on it. Yeah, you couldn't read that shit? You fucking idiot. Rubber glove, tagged yeah. evidence from the SL9 incident. Extremely thin rubber glove. 
Oh, uh, shards on the floor. No. Wow. Someone must have broken something big to make all these pieces. Detective Gumshoe, perhaps. There you go, pal, making me out to be some kind of hooligan. <laughs> I don't know why I love the word hooligan. Mm, me too. That's apparently from the case. The case? The case. <laughs> the SL9 incident, the pal. Case. See the sticker on one of the pieces here? Another piece of SL9 evidence. Oh, take a closer look. I wonder what shape these pieces were in before whatever it was broke. You want to try and put it back together? Heh, <laughs> good luck, pal. That's no job for amateurs. Well, I spent a good three hours on that before I had to give up. I even smashed it some more because I was so angry. Well, that's why I carry around a tube of glue. Oh, Emma with the save. Well, this piece looks like the bottom. Let's try putting the rest in place. Oh, Jesus. We actually have to do this? Yeah. Oh, good. It, it actually gives me the solution to this. Okay, thank God. Uh. Five. No. Just give me a second, folks. I can, <laughs> I can do this. Yo. Mm -hmm. Satisfying. I have to watch. Nice. Uh huh. Nice. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Very sexy. Uh huh. Yeah. And uh huh. Yeah. This is really satisfying. <laughs> yeah, for real. Oh. Yeah. Uh, huh? No, uh, no, no. Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, oh, I'm on the wrong piece. I'm, I'm fucking... Sorry, boys. Fun fact. <laughs> larded. Fun fact. I'm just a little bit stupid. A little? Okay, come on now. <laughs> come on now. What the no! fuck? There we go. That, did, that doesn't look like it fits there. Fuck you. <laughs> Making me look like some kind of artard. I mean, you are. Oh, artard. there's a piece missing. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> what do you mean, shut the fuck up? <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> well, I think we did it. But some of the pieces are missing. Yeah, I got that far too in two minutes myself. The problem is finishing it. Were some pieces stolen? <gasps> <gasps> I bet they were missing to begin with. Still, it doesn't look like the most stable kind of jar. I couldn't understand how it got broken. Yeah, that shit does not look sturdy. Unstable jar, jar pieced back together from fragments found at the crime scene. A piece is missing. Okay, well, that was fun. So let's get the spray shit. I want to use... How do I use it? I don't remember how to use it. Let me just say one thing. Uh, the, 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 I don't care. I don't... No! How do I use it? Maybe... No, 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 Maybe. 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 Hold up. Spray! Uh... Blood! God. Ew. No, 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 no. God damn it. Stop it. Stop it! Let me do what I want to do. For fuck's sake, bro. Nah, bro. You're a fucking idiot. Stupid piece of shit. Oh, I had to keep spraying it. <laughs> yeah, you stupid piece of shit. That must have been one fuck? massive pool of blood. Never seen anything like it. I'm not a professional. What's your opinion, Detective? Hmm. Pale blue blood. Maybe Detective Goddamn was actually an alien! I love him. 
I love this him so much. Like that something really happened in front of this locker. Whoa. I'll make a note of it on the floor plans. Hey, if you didn't want my opinion, you shouldn't have asked. Well, maybe your opinion shouldn't have been stupid. I maybe love you. your opinion was just dumb as fuck. Whoa. 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 Is uh, that a no handprint? Way. This is someone's right handprint. What? <laughs> What's the matter, detective? Th this locker. It's mine. It's yours? Please. You have to help me when they come to take me away. Promise you'll testify that I wouldn't harm a fly. You'll do that for me, won't you, pals? And without hesitation, Gumshoe. This is an Not important clue. Real. Jot it down on the floor plans. I'm counting on you guys. Believe me, you can't trust the police. What? But you're a detective. <laughs> That's one of my favorite fucking things about this game is that they just basically let the police be the fucking dumbest people on the planet. Yes. Uh, oh, spray. Why am I getting a reaction here? There's no reason for the murderer to touch this spot if he fled out the door. Oh, wait, shit. I'm stupid. I thought that was Emma. This just might be something significant. Hey, that's some pretty amazing stuff you got there, pal. Well, you would like some of it, wouldn't you, you idiot? It's called luminol testing fluid. Where'd you get your hands on that? Uh-huh. I'd like to get some too. I'll just borrow 50 bucks from the chief. Where do you get this? Where do you... I always buy it by mail order. Well, I'd better jot this down on the floor plans. Hey, look. Hey, pal, look at the time. There's some... Was there something you needed to be going to? It's just that Mr. Edgeworth's inquiry committee should be letting out soon. Oh, wow, they really teased that? That's in the third game. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm going to give him my report for the day. It might help, you know. The r report? You mean the note written back on written on the back of that flyer? The one that says nothing but no problems? Hey, it's Mr. Edgeworth we're talking about. I'm sure he could use a report like this. I believe in him. Who needs enemies when you got friends like Detective Gumshoe? For real, bro. We all needed Detective Gumshoe in our lives. I'm Damn. off, pal. Later. I should probably see what Edgeworth has to say, too. Um, I'm pretty sure there's more shit. No. There isn't. I would have thought there was more shit to do in here. Uh, you. Wait, I went the wrong way. I'm stupid. No, no, I didn't. I'm not stupid. I'm just stupid. Oh, it's Edgeworth time. It's Edgeworth yeah. time. Edgeworth time. Oh. Oh, fuck. Shit, shit. You remember this guy's voice, right? No. Uh, it was... It was very much like up here. Very, like, a little, little, little this, you know? If you I said it, it didn't to, Oh, my fucking God! <laughs> <laughs> Just say it again, bro. It's all right, bro. It's all right. Jeez. Oh, it's you. I'm gonna drop some serious ass now. <laughs> Did you hear it? <laughs> Did you hear it? <laughs> Just funny. Oh, <laughs> that makes it funnier. <laughs> we met somewhere. Huh? Mr. Edgeworth, I beg your leave. So long. Edgeworth here? Oh, Where 
there, standing by the window, a teacup in his hand. I dead ass thought they were gonna pull. He's right behind me, isn't he? <laughs> right. He has the hotel bring him tea service? Mr. Edgeworth, you're back from the district prosecutor's office inquiry? I am. I'm at a shit fucking day, by the way. <laughs> by the way, it did, oh wait, no, that's not me. <laughs> I could really use a gift right now. You got it. <laughs> on the lips <laughs> and a whole shoulder to lean on again i know we pointed out last time we were in here i love that his vase also has like one of those little necktie things that he has it's wondrous his what look at the vase on the left oh my god yeah <laughs> by the way detective gumshoe was looking for you ah uh, yes he brought me the latest information it seems Really? Was it helpful? Fuck no. <laughs> Apparently a new French restaurant is opening near here. I think he was trying to console me somehow. It's only... Um, the real me. info is on the other side, Edgeworth. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I think this whole thing is really taking a toll on him. Ba, 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 ba. Sorry. So, how did the inquiry committee go? Actually, they decided to treat this not as a case of concealing evidence, but as a communications error during the investigation. Concealing evidence? Yes, apparently there are those who believe that I concealed evidence. They gave me a warning. You were lucky this time. Again. Again? I've heard them say that so many times. <sighs> Ever since that case two years ago. Are you okay for the trial tomorrow? Well, I'm still the presiding prosecuting attorney. However. Something happened. Something, excuse me, goddamn motherfucker. <laughs> I gave control over the investigation to the police department. The police department. Yes, any further investigation for this case will be directed by the chief of police, Kent. I can do nothing but wait for his results. I see. Why, I ask you, why? All along, I've only done what I believe is right. I have nothing to be ashamed of. But still. Wow. I've never seen him this out of sorts. What the fuck a focus, bitch? I'm focusing, I'm just fucking looking. Uh, ID card record. Dude, that was oh, so right. unnecessary. Yeah, I, I better check apologize. this out. <laughs> what? That was so unnecessary of me, I apologize. No, 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 it's fine. <laughs> I was just doing that because I was looking over at the walkthrough. All right, I'd better check this now. I... Uh, what's this? A record of ID or usage? Edgeworth, you went into the evidence room that day, didn't you? Just before the incident occurred, no less. Yes, that's true. Did he actually Wh kill somebody? Why, Mr. Edgeworth? Don't look at me like that. I was asked to go. I just can't know this. Okay. The chief of police. He wanted evidence for a case that wrapped up half a year ago. He told me he wanted me to keep it here in the prosecutor's office. But it was solved, right? It would have to be. It would have to be if the evidence was already filed. He is never one to explain himself. In any case, on the day of the stabbing, I brought this back here. Can I ask what kind of case it was? I can't say. It really has nothing to do with 
current gate. Now I'm curious about this other case. I'd better make a note of it. Screwdriver. Evidence from a past case case of Edgeworths. Brought back to his office by Gant's request. Stubborn as always. I told you it had nothing to do with the current case. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, Goodman's note. Goodman's note. Goddamn. This... Goddamn's God note. Damn. Sorry. I'm sorry. Goddamn. 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 <laughs> You've already got a hold of something already, right? It all has to do with that case you were on. The SL9 incident. And some dark suspicious... Wait, and some dark suspicion you were wrapped up in. You are the man who revived the worst memory of my life. I think you'd I'd be yelling you about this sooner or later. Are they really showing this shit again? <laughs> he must be talking about his father's murder in that elevator. We gotta go through the entire memory again. <laughs> I'm gonna go shoot myself. Bro, you remember how many fucking times they showed that memory in the last case? Yes! <laughs> okay, Edgeworth. Yes! Why don't you tell me about it? Tell me the truth. was the deputy chief of police at the time. Damon Grant. That motherfucker. He keeps showing up. What the fuck is his deal? That wacky old coot was involved in this case two years ago too then. He was a top officer, and it was my first time working with him. I was nervous. Wow, you get nervous too, Mr. Edgeworth? What I want to know is why He's just was... like me, for real. <laughs> what I want to know is why was Deputy Deputy Chief of Police on the investigation? In truth, I use slightly more extreme methods than normal. We were dealing with a vicious murderer. If I let him go, the blood would be on my hands. We won our guilty verdict, and the killer was executed. Wait, you didn't? Of course not. I didn't touch the evidence. Yes, I will do anything in my power to win a trial. However, I do have a goat, and I follow it faithfully. <laughs> it goes one zero zero one one. How the fuck did you know? It's like you're reading my mind. <laughs> By the way, Emma, the chief prosecutor wanted to know something. What? My sister? Whoa! Whoa! My, my sister? What? What? If you were still studying forensic science. Uh, uh huh? Yes, of course. Of course. Why, just today, Mr. Wright and I were using this... Luminol testing fluid. Hmm. Well then, you might have to use for this. Damn! He's actually being helpful. Uh, aluminum powder for taking fingerprints. Then chemically traded for better adhesion. Adhesion, you know what I meant. <laughs> For, for me? Are you sure? We are the enemy, you know. I know insane today's sophistication. Do as you will. Edgeworth, I'm really... No need to thank me. Here, take your batter and these fingerprint files for everyone involved. I, uh, thanks. How about giving these to Detective Gumshoe as well? Fingerprinting set. Covers fingerprints from handprints from compar for comparison with the fingerprint file. He's giving it to you because he likes you. He does like me. They're gay. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get going. One last investigation. Right. 
I do seem to remember seeing a suspicious handprint somewhere. I know we're going over time, but I want to finish this section before we end the end the shit. I'll try to make this shit quickly because I know you wanna you wanna end this shit soon. I wanna go eep. Go eep. <laughs> I'm speed running, bro. I'm speed running. Bro. Bruh. God, mother I told you we're speed running! <laughs> You take away my last piece of joy! I'm kidding. <laughs> Our investigation turned up a suspicious handprint. Here, in this blood on the detective's evidence locker. On the detective's uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Let's use the secret weapon we just borrowed. Right. Let's get started. First, choose a finger. A finger? Each finger leaves behind a slightly different imprint. So let's choose the finger that will have left behind the clearest point. The clearest I... print. Jesus. <laughs> I really can't tell the difference at a glance. Quit procrastinating and choose a finger. This one. That's a... Okay, now it's time to check for prints. Let me show you how it's done. Emma's starting to get that sparkle in her eyes. We love to see the sparkle in Emma's eyes. First, we sprinkle the aluminum powder around. Huh? How do you do that? The A button. See? Duh, ah, you fucking moron. It looks like that did the trick. The aluminum powder adheres completely to the print. Once the powder is well spread, just blow away the excess. It's easy. Even huh? a monkey could do it. <laughs> huh? How do I do that? <laughs> With the X button, dumbass. Exciting. I know! <laughs> Imagine you're blowing up the candles on a birthday cake. See? Wow. That looks like fun. It might take some getting used to, though. Fine, it won't go up your nose or anything. You just pour the powder on thick and blow away the extra. Those are the basics of fingerprinting, Mr. Wright. I guess I better give it a try. I did it! <laughs> oh, you did it! You found one! But this looks nothing like a fingerprint. Why don't you mention it? I guess it doesn't. What does it mean? I think it means we're out of luck. Out of luck? The person who left this handprint must have worn gloves. <gasps> like the glove scene over there! Damn! Don't tell me we've been wasting our time here! Hey, calm down! That's just the way it goes sometimes with scientific investigations. Yeah, but Anna wanna go eat, bro. <laughs> I go eat, but... But it does seem a shame. While we're at it, why don't we look for other prints? Other prints? Get the locker door again closely. Uh... Oh. Seems like there are fingerprints outside the bloody handprint as well. Let's see if we can find a clear print. Hmm, fingerprints outside the blood. Oh, fucking. There's that smudge, bro. It's right there in the corner. Oh, you're totally yeah. right. Dude, you're so no. smart. I am. I'm smart and sexy. Isn't that crazy? Yo! Bug, bug, player, player. Yay! Red's so clear, it's amazing, or it's dazzling. Oh my D god! Dazzling. Anyway, this print took a lot of effort to find. Match it up right away. So we're not done yet. This is quite a process. Well, there's no point in finding a fingerprint. And not knowing who the owner is, right? You got a point. 
I guess she's right. Look at the fingerprint data we got from Mr. Edgeworth. And point out the person you think left these prints. Huh? How am I supposed to know who it was? Phoenix, darling, it's not that hard! <laughs> Homie... Homie clearly drank idiot juice today. Like, I know he- <laughs> I know he never has to do shit like this, but brother- my brother in Christ, it is not that hard. Oh, sorry, I skipped over the text, whatever. You motherfucker! The bloody handprint and the fingerprints are in different places, right? That means the prince probably don't have anything to do with her case. So whose fingerprints we did find, we most likely find on the- Whoa, so who's like- Whoa! Okay. Try again. Just move on, just move on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know who it is. Stupid. It's Gumshoe. What? That's crazy. It's almost like it's a slacker or something. Yeah. Fucking shocking, I know. <laughs> uh huh. So these prints belong to Detective Gumshoe. Is something wrong, Mr. Wright? You gave me this so what look. I guess it's probably because I was thinking, so what? Okay, so we came up with nothing this time, but there's always next time. Sometimes you hit, sometimes you miss. For real, though. Gotta roll with the punches, Mr. Wright. Get your head in the game. Thanks for the sympathy. Wait, if I remember correctly... There was one other handprint in this room. Let's check it out. That's right. There was one over here. Now I just gotta remember how to get to it. How to do this. <laughs> Poor record. No. Uh, do I just click? This is where we got an aluminal fluid reaction, right? Right. There was a handprint here. Okay, wanna try using this? There go her eyes sparkling again. Check for prints. Okay, let's again. check for prints. That's the spirit. Oh, but I have to warn you about the first. What? The area with the blood was wiped away, right? We only ended up finding it using chemical means. Any prints in that area will be will have been wiped away too. Oh, right. So that means no prints. You say the probability of your hypothesis is high. D don't ask me. Anyway, we must try to find prints that aren't that weren't wiped away. Prints other than the ones left by the bloody hands. Oh. Yo. Dirt. It's one of these. Oh, wait. I'm stupid. Am I? Wait. Give me a second here. Give me a second here. All right. What are you doing? Give me a fucking second here, motherfucker. No, Spidey. What the fuck are you doing? Your mom. That's what I'm doing. Yo, and your dad. And I'm your doing dad. your mom and your okay. dad right now. Where the fuck? Hold on. Actually, you just hear your toilet flush? That was me DDoSing. <laughs> Choose where there should be a fork oh, finger. Oh, did you hear that? Oh, there, you we, go, there that? we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. No, you're doing it again. Not only did I DDoS your toilet, I fucked your mom. Whoa. How do you feel about that? See? Whoa. Hmm. I gave him my best shot. That kind of result won't be any good for matching prints, will it? But it doesn't look like we'll get a clearer result from this print. Okay, let's try a different My finger. brother in Christ, that's- it said that one. It said that one. Oh wait, yellow? I'm hyper tapping this shit. It's gonna hurt my arm, but I don't give a shit. God damn it! Hmm, get it. I hate this game. I hate this game. I hate this game. I hate trying to speed run this shit. Maybe? maybe? Is this different? Or is this just the same shit? I'm so sorry, Anna. 
Homie Trent's trying to go eat. Oh, fingerprint! Yo, let's go! There yes! Oh, there's more? God damn it. Oh, homie's just trying to go eat, but I gotta- I wanna finish this so fucking badly, dude. There we go. Alright, uh, Jake Marshall. Fucking shocking, bro. Yeah! Hey, these fingerprints, they... Who's our la Who's? Is it someone I know? It's Officer Marshall. Huh? Uh, uh, Officer Jake Marshall? Marshall's fingerprints found on a bloody hand print left in the evidence room. The print had been wiped. Hmm. That's gotta be a coincidence. He's not involved in the crime. Emma. This is decidedly different from Detective Gumshoe's prints. The uh, luminal reaction. The blood on the fingerprints are in the same place. Oh. So, we have Jake Marshall's fingerprints on a wiped blood stain. But why would Officer Marshall... It looks like our investigation is finally turning up some results. I guess this is what you'd call decisive evidence. I... I don't believe it! That motherfucker. And that's where we leave off with that cliffhanger. Yo! Yes, I would love to save my progress up until this point. Jesus fucking Christ, that was so long. <laughs> <sighs> well, how do you feel, Anna, other than eepy? <laughs> very interesting. Interesting. Interesting, you know? Well, as per tradition, I would like to ask, what do you think's happening here? I know you're a little you're a little tired and you just want to go to bed, but I want to I want to know what you're thinking. Cuz I've said how I'm thinking. But what are you thinking? I think fucking Marshall and Gant are suspicious as hell. Yeah. Uh, got my fucking Marshall's blood on a crime scene, and then Gant was just being weird earlier. Gant is just a weird ass doing. motherfucker. You can never trust. You can real. never trust the Irish. <laughs> Mm, I can yeah. I can say that I can say that by the way I am part Irish. Oh, shut the fuck up! I can do that. I can do that. Listen, bitch. Anna, I'm trying not to get. Who asked? I'm sorry. I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so you think either Gant or Marshall did it? Mm-hmm. Mm. It might okay. have also been like a cooperative effort. Mm. I think that, like, if fucking Marshall's in on it, and so is the lunch lady. All three of them are just Ooh. like... Ooh. That's actually a really good point. Maybe she is in I don't... Well, we're gonna leave that with... We're gonna leave y'all with that. I mean, and, I just uh... said, that, like, they're working on the investigation together, and she yes, was like... Yeah. Oh my god, wait... <laughs> kind of like okay so she was a detective marshall is now an officer he mm -hmm. was formerly a detective neither of them are anymore i wonder if also if you saw that okay. flashback photo they worked with the with detective goddamn that's why i was saying they work with detective goddamn and he probably got them fired from his yeah i was gonna say he got them fired like he got them fired from their jobs and then like they probably killed him Oh, so you think Detective Goddamn is the one who told, like, everybody about the evidence? And yeah. because of that, that's why she got fired and he got demoted. That's actually a really good yeah. point. Holy shit. I never thought Bro. about it like that, actually. Bro, <laughs> what did you think was going on? I think that the Detective Goddamn who was in the evidence room 
Uh, mm-hmm. He's obviously not him. So someone had to be dressed up as him, especially because the only person who saw Detective Goddamn's face, quote unquote, Detective Goddamn, he didn't know what he looked like. So it could have been fucking anybody. That but it raises ha- the question. But it'd have to be like a guy, so I don't think it would be Angel Star in there. Plus, how how the fuck should she, she get in? She's probably not she be work fucking there, no Marshall though, because that's like. His blood on the handprints and like, yeah. oh, why was there blood on the handprints? Because he got, so... yeah, Wait, like oh. If anybody, the only person who should have blood on their handprints there should be Mike Meekins because he cut his hand. Hmm. Well, we're gonna maybe we're gonna, we're wait, gonna... wait, 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 wait. Actually, no, never mind, never mind. Forget it. We're gonna we're gonna leave it at that, and we'll pick we'll pick this up next time we record. So see y'all later. See y'all. Love see y'all next later. time. Love you. Love you. Love you. Yeah. Goodbye, everybody. This case keeps getting interesting and more interesting by the day. God damn! Shut up and take my money! (laughs) God motherfucking damn!